Hi everybody, this is John Lamazny, and um, I am going to show you a very simple technique in Inkscape. And this is for my friend Sean, who just found out that he belongs to a group, a technology group, who uh, just took on the just took on the uh, the acronym for his group uh, is M I T T uh, Media and instructional technologies and training or something and um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make this into a square 500 by 500 because he said he really wants an avatar <laughs> he wants to have an avatar so um, what I did was I opened up the page uh, properties right there went into page changed the size from uh, the default to 500 by 500 and now when I close you can see that I have a square here I hit the uh, 5 on my keyboard and it centers that page the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in a picture that I downloaded and it is called baseball baseball mitt and it's lowercase so it's going to be down here baseball glove there it is and I'm going to link it because I'm only going to have it in here for a short period of time I'm going to hold down control and size down so that this mitt fits inside the uh, square and I'm going to do two more things the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to um, change this into a vector just because it gives me more flexibility and the way that I do that is I go into my path menu and choose trace bitmap and using the brightness cutoff method I'm going to update it that's exactly what I want I say OK and I am done with this so now I can take that topmost layer which is a vector path and uh, move it to the side as I have and I'm going to delete this image the original image I brought in there so the benefit here is that if I wanted to modify this image in some way it has all these points that are making up the image but there are uh, let's see 3268 nodes I'm going to show you in the path menu that there's a simplify method that doesn't change the image too much but you can see how greatly it reduces the nodes the more nodes the more memory it takes so now that that's done I'm going to take my calligraphy brush and just test it out over here and I'm gonna move down to the oranges where I have sort of a leathery color here I'm gonna apply that leathery color in a really liberal way almost like uh, loose printmaking you know Andy Warhol style and uh, just cover up all the space here and that looks a mess right but I can then take that shape and move it to the bottom you can see how now that looks really nice that looks like a glove I'm also going to add a square and I'm gonna make that a nice uh, deep green as though we were on a baseball field I'm gonna move that to the bottom using the lower selection to bottom button there and I'm pretty much done um, I wanted to make an icon for him something that would be sort of an inside joke for he and I and uh, I think it's a lot of fun so I hope he enjoys it thanks a lot for paying attention and I hope to see you tomorrow with the next screencast for 365sketches.org this is John Lamazny, thanks a lot, bye